A JetBlue co-pilot was taken off a plane this morning at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport and an NFTA official confirms he was legally drunk. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing has been following this story all day long after passengers reached out when they learned that something just wasn't right aboard flight 2465. When passengers boarded this plane for a 6 a.m. flight, they never imagined they would be delayed because of a drunk pilot. According to NFTA officials, the pilot noticed his co-pilot was impaired and had a smell of alcohol. A TSA worker noticed it too. They noticed that he may be impaired, so they called um, NFTA um, airport police. Officers entered the plane and took the co-pilot, 52-year-old James Clifton of Orlando, out of the cockpit. Breathalyzer test registered 0.17, which is, you know, significant. We find that significant. According to Aviation Medical Services, FAA regulations say a pilot cannot have a blood or breath alcohol concentration of 0.04 or more, which is half the legal limit for driving in the U.S. I spoke with one passenger right after this happened while she was still on the ground in Buffalo. When you look down the aisle, the door is open and they're in the cockpit. So they took his bag, they took his things, they escorted him off the plane. The police car was parked right next to the plane. It was unsettling once she learned the facts. But whatever the procedures are before you fly, they should have caught it before you got on the plane. And it's a sad situation because something could have happened to all of us up in the air. There's babies on this plane. There's um, severe handicapped people. Another passenger spoke with me on the phone once the plane made it to Florida. What was the atmosphere like on the plane? I don't think a lot of people in the back of the plane understood what was going on, uh, only because they didn't have my vantage point. Um, but there was it, there was never any any disruption. Clifton was released to JetBlue security and may face federal charges. Passengers were given vouchers for their inconvenience. We did get a statement from JetBlue a little while ago. They say they have a very strict zero tolerance internal alcohol policy. They are now cooperating fully with law enforcement along with an internal investigation. The pilot, James Clifton, has been removed from his duties. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.